What's up guys, Collector B here, and we are back with another Toy Haul! Toy Haul, yes! So, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we have Toys. quite a bit of stuff, quite a bit of stuff, and for the first time on this channel, we are unboxing Star Wars Black Series. <gasps> oh wow. my gosh. Crazy. It's so, a miracle. Yeah, it's a miracle. Um, so yeah, it was a really good week. We found some stuff, got some mail calls, and then, you know, I just found stuff that I wasn't really looking for. Again, these aren't the toys you're looking for, but we found them, and we got them. Do you so, want to be a voice actor? Dude, <laughs> bro. Okay, so anyway, so let's get into it. Uh, so the first thing, oh god, I don't even know where to start. I do. All right, so first thing we are going to do, we're going to do the Star Wars Black Series. Now, if you follow my channel, uh, you haven't seen any Star Wars Black Series. I might have shown some here and there, but I've not unboxed any. I have a very small Star Wars collection. It's usually Darth Vader, um, Mando, and Boba Fett. I do have a Darth Maul, but I just don't collect a lot. But, boom, we walked into Target today and found this Dark Trooper. Now, I saw this about a week and a half ago at Target, and I didn't grab it. And then it was gone. So today we went to Target and we found it. And I'm super excited to open it. So it matches your shirt. The colors. Oh, I was like, what? Is any twos in there? Um, so super cool. So this is obviously from the Mandalorian. You know, all these big guys come out and then Luke Skywalker goes ham on them. So pretty cool. Uh, but he looks. Thanks oh. for ruining it. Yeah, I know. He looks really cool. So uh, we're going to open it. Like I said, most of the time. I leave the few Star Wars figures I got in box. And the only reason really is one, um, I really like these boxes. I love the art on the side like this. And at first when they came out with these weird style ones, I was like, that's kind of weird, but it's really cool. Um, and they're windows, they have windows. So you can see these figures still. Now, uh, I'm waiting for the day when all these are gone and there is no windows and I'll probably not get a lot of stuff anymore well some of it at least some of the stuff like this i probably won't get anymore but so really cool dark trooper this was at target like i said um and let's see so look at that Ooh, really cool they did announce a set i th think it's on hasbro i'm pretty sure it was hasbro PulseCon. um with him mando and it's like moth gideon the guy with the dark saber i believe and you can like light him on fire with a flamethrower it looks really cool but a little too expensive for me so this guy comes with his gun which the gun is pretty dope looking no okay comes with the gun and he does come with quite a bit of stuff which is pretty cool here so again i love star wars i really really do i just I don't know, the new stuff is not nearly as good, obviously, and there's just certain things I like and certain things I don't. So, he comes with these blasters. I believe these go on his boots because he flies around. And then he comes with, I believe these are extra hands. He's got really small hands, though. He comes with two fist hands, which, yeah, are super small. I mean, really, really small. They make Spidey's oh, hands goodness. look way bigger, don't they? It's kind of crazy. So, let's go. Not only is this the first time I've uh, unboxed one of these on camera for you guys, this is actually the first time I've unboxed a Star Wars uh, Black Series figure in general. I just, like I said, I like to keep my Star Wars stuff in box oh that's interesting he's pretty cool looking actually <laughs> bam there is the dark trooper so really cool i really like it it's actually uh a lot different than i thought it would be when i opened it up out of the box there's some moving parts on it and he's got quite a bit of good detail in there he really reminds me of power rangers <laughs> i don't know why i just kind of want to throw him with my power ranger stuff um, but you see, he looks really stiff just because he's a robot. He's got the gears, all that stuff. But I'm surprised at this figure. I'll show you in a few here, but just want to show the back. Looks really good. Hold on. Oh, I know. I know. I got you. And then you've got the other side. And I really like the gears on the sides. They look really awesome. 
Uh, again, it's just little details here and there that look really, really cool. So there is the Dark Trooper. <clears throat> so what I do really like about this is this thing is kind of movable, which is really weird. I did not think it would be. It's almost like, does it? I feel like I'm going to break it. It almost looks like that pops off, right? Like that, it was almost like supposed to pop off. Maybe. I just don't want to bust it. Um, I don't know, we'll try it later. But kind of crazy that that moves. Um, as far as articulation, he is pretty stiff, but he's got the knee joint. He's got good ankle joints, like no thigh swivel or nothing. Um, he's not that movable, which, I mean, he's just walks like this most of the time. So that's fine but he does come with a trigger finger which is cool for the gun and then another uh open hand over here and i do really like the helmet the helmet is really cool you can move that up down not crazy no ab crunch and that's just because he's connected like this so yeah kind of uh boring there but that's okay but he looks cool <clears throat> i do really like how this guy looks and yep i was right cool so these but he doesn't come with but he doesn't come stand. with a stand that's kind of annoying <laughs> really cool though i do like that and then obviously you can put the gun into his hand with the trigger hand so he does have another this hand is open as well so if you had something else to give him you could um and then he comes with fist hands like i said so pretty cool i like him um you know these are like 30 bucks because they're like the i don't know if they call them the deluxe edition or what they do um so i don't know if it's like entirely worth that i did pick up another star wars black series uh like this but we're not gonna pop him open but he is really cool i'm probably just gonna throw some fist hands on him um he's gonna stand really well but you know there's not much to him he is a little boring but i do like him and it, and i do like <clears throat> him in the mandalorian so well multiple of him so he is really cool though so you can find that at target so that was kind of a random pickup i i just like how he looks he just looks like darth vader or a power ranger to me so you know i'm all about that so but this guy boom darth vader black series so i have a lot of darth vaders uh i just like darth vader i mean most people do but he is really really cool and this is the darth vader from the obi-wan kenobi series which unfortunately we have not watched yet have we no we're pretty far behind on star wars just because i don't know they haven't been great i've heard this is really good so uh we will definitely end up watching it but i'm super stoked to open this uh, again i have a lot of vaders in boxes and i just found him what we found him at walmart like two three weeks ago i mean yeah. two three weeks ago and then finally uh i found another one at target and we decided yeah I'm going to get it because I do have one that I'm keeping in box. So here we go. Go. Cool. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, again, I love Darth Vader. He is definitely my favorite from Star Wars um, along with Boba Fett. So I'm curious. And again, they always just make him look so cool on the side of the box. I mean, the whole black and white and then just the blue. I know, you know, he uses a red lightsaber, but it's really, really cool. should be I red. Yeah, but I love those that art. That art is so cool. And I just love, like, again, this is my big complaint. The, you know, the boxes that do not have the windows in them, they have some good art on them. But it's so much better to see the figure in there with the art. It's just, I don't know, it's just me. And I'm sure a lot of people don't care. But, like, to me, I really like the art on a lot of boxes. So, the one good thing I will say that uh, Black Series does, or even, I guess, Hasbro with these uh star wars figures is they have cloth cloth capes so which is great i mean vader with a cloth cape obviously that's what you want so i'm gonna be very careful with the lightsaber it's already bent but it's my big thing with these lightsabers is i'm so scared to snap them i always snapped them as a little kid and it was always so frustrating the green lightsaber right <laughs> <laughs> so there is his red lightsaber it's a little bent almost looks like count dooku's at this point because of you know how he holds it um but really cool i love the lightsaber and we will take out mr darth man though this is pretty good honestly with 
is cloth cape. He's pretty stiff though too. The one thing I will say, noticing just like these first two, is I, they don't have crazy articulation, but you know, this cloth cape is really sick. So- It's not like they're doing kung fu moves. I know, uh, Vader does, <laughs> just kidding. So there is Darth Vader. So the cape, I absolutely love it. I don't understand why McFarlane cannot just throw capes in with his figures because what was this guy? This guy's only like $25, $26 maybe? Like he's not 30. So you're telling me they can give this small Vader a cape and it's a really decent cape. I mean, it's it's really, really nice. It's pretty big. So I, I just don't get it. It just kind of annoys me. But I'm really happy this came with a cloth cape because, I don't know, Darth Vader without a cloth cape just doesn't do it for me. But, like, look at that thing. It's full. It's, like, it. it's, like, doubled. So he has the bottom there, and then he has the oh, whole cape. Geez, that is very... It's very awesome. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry. As you break him. So, um... I mean, I really, really like it. It looks really good. His face looks good. I mean, it's Darth Vader. You guys all know what it looks like. There's nothing special here. He does kind of come with this, your force choke uh, hand, and then he has another open hand for the lightsaber. Um, I did want to see. That's the only thing, and I, I get why they don't do it. I wish he had somewhere to, like, put the lightsaber in his belt, but then you would obviously need the lightsaber part to actually, like, disconnect so he doesn't. But, yeah, so kind of like how the wife had... There's the back of him. So it's not just the cloth part of the cape. You do have the bottom here. So it's two separate capes. And again, this is like a $25, $26 figure. I would easily pay McFarlane $26 for a cloth cape. I just, I don't get it. It just makes the figure so much better. So we're going to pop this in. Hopefully I don't break it. You know, and these don't come with, like, crazy accessories. Like, obviously, Darth Vader has his lightsaber because you kind of have to give him his lightsaber. Um, and then that guy, you know, has his gun. But, like, I just, the cloth cape makes it. Really does. So, there he is with his lightsaber. I love it. I think it's fantastic. What do you think of him? He looks great, right? Yeah, it's Darth Vader. I know. Exactly. It is. And they all kind of, like, look the same, so it's kind of funny. Um, as far as articulation, same thing. He is just as tight as this guy. He's got the knee joint there. He's got a nice ankle joint, actually. Um, he can do some kung fu moves, like you said. Uh, pretty cool there. He's got no thigh swivel or toe joint. His arms, he's got the good bend there. Uh, no bicep swivel. So, I mean, they are, I get, they are very limited articulation-wise. Um, but, you know... It's okay with me, because like you said, his head has no movement, basically, just left and right. Um, I'm okay with it, because he comes with this cloth cape, he looks great, and the, to me, these are more of, I guess, display figures. Not really, I'm sure a lot of people disagree with me on that, but, you know, I've, that's why I usually don't buy a ton of Star Wars figures, and because I just don't, you know, have that many favorite characters. So, this cape, though, is kind of hard to... There we go. It's all over the place, but I love him. He is fantastic, and he is about the same size as the Dark Trooper, which is good. So I like it. I really, really like it. Again, I would definitely pay McFarlane a little bit more to throw some cloth capes on there, or even Marvel Legends, same thing. You know, not just McFarlane, anybody throw some cloth capes. Even um, Power Rangers here with Mr. Red Sentry, Gah, cloth cape would have been fantastic. So... There it is. So there is our first two Star Wars Black Series that we have opened, and I love it. I think the only other Star Wars thing I have opened on here is my Hyper Real Darth Vader, which I absolutely love. Um, it's a lot like this guy, just has better accessories and is bigger. So really cool. I like it. I'm a fan. So he's actually, I've seen him at Walmart and Target, only seen the Dark Trooper at Target so far. So, so, so far. <laughs> so far. So far. So, okay, we've got three more things here. I'm really excited about all three. So, first one we have is Hasbro Lightning Collection Red Ninjetti Rocky. So, we finally got another Ninjetti. So, you know, yellow, red, blue, pink, and white. So, yellow is the last one that we will need to get. 
this is pretty cool. I did get this off Hasbro Pulse. So the only issue, and this is again where I go with um, these windowless boxes, and this is probably the biggest one. I, I've had these Spidey ones, you know, that have been fine, that have been really good, but these Ninjetties have just had so many paint app issues it drives me nuts so i'm really really happy that they did not start these with the windowless box because i will show you when we pop him open oh um, i already showed well you'll see more so um i mean if you've watched my channel you've seen me do the other ones and i've had bad paint apps on some the one thing i will say about this one um, the face looks good. I've seen quite a bit of them in store and the face looks okay because the Tommy Ninjetti and Billy and Adam, oof, they were wrecked, right? And even we have seen the pink one, uh, Kat, not Kimberly. I already have Kimberly. Um, I'm not going to get Kat, but her face looked really good too. But oof, just some of these face sculpts or uh, paint apps. So there's background again. And boom. So same thing. You're going to get a set of hands, two extra heads, and that weird effect piece, which goes on his hand this time. So let's pop these out. Ugh. I can't ever get these hands out, though. They, like, put them in really crazy. You see how the pegs are, like, underneath the plastic? Mm. Like, I feel like I'm just going to destroy them honestly okay well let's get something else out first so you do get two alternate heads like i said um this is probably the one i will display it with and same thing you have them where they are separated but there is rocky's face sculpt i actually think that one looks really good i didn't see you might see something but i didn't see any like major paint app messed up or anything um it actually looks pretty good and that's the one that i'm going to pose him with now this head does have some paint scuffs and some missed paint apps. He looks kind of bad. So um, you do have this one, which again would connect with, move your hand with this as well. Um, that one has some messed up paint on his ear and he just has marks kind of all over. Oh yeah, what is that? Is I don't know. He's got like a mark too. He has like red paint on the top of his head so it almost looks like he has like a chicken pox you know it's up by his uh eye kind of it's very subtle nothing crazy but that ear mark is kind of just a straight black mark on his ear so yeah not terrible again i've seen way worse so and i'm not gonna pose him with that head anyways but uh yeah some paint app misses there um and then he does come with these kung fu hands which is interesting that he i think he's one of the only ones that didn't come with a flat hand he came with two of the same hands um i believe the other ones had i guess tommy comes with two flat hands but all the other ones have like some sort of flat hand and he does not have any which is kind of interesting and then of course you do get this uh white effect which they give this weird effect for all of them this one's supposed to go on his fist let's pull the red and jetty out and i was super excited to get this because i've been waiting for this one even though rocky is not my favorite um i prefer jason i'm still needed this to complete so honestly that's about the only messed up part i see i mean again these aren't fantastic but so here he is my biggest complaint is that belt that belt, man, every single one I've seen has had some red just bleeding all over into that belt. Now, at least, you know, you can get some white paint and just kind of go over that. It's not absolutely terrible, but it's just crazy. Um, and that's what I mean with these windowless boxes. These Ninjetis have been really bad lately. The diamonds on his left foot. Yeah, he's got some scuffs there. That That doesn't really bother me. It's on the bottom of his feet. Um, the one other thing I just don't, I'm not a huge fan about with these Ninjetis is their joints, like, even when you barely move them, there's some paint that just starts just coming off everywhere, and then it just ends up scuffing. Yeah, it's not amazing, but I'm happy to finish these Ninjetis, for sure. Well, we need the yellow still, but 
There's the back of him. At least the face sculpts look okay, and at least his symbol looks okay. I did see one where the symbol had like a line like right through it, and of course you don't want the middle of his chest to have a line right through it. But yeah, he's not terrible. Not great. Not terrible. So, we are going to swap out the head and put this piece on. Um, articulation going to be the same, of course. No foot joint, but you can get them in these poses, which, of course, is what you want because they are ninjas. So, they do have the thigh swivel, which is nice. Um, the one the other thing I did notice is look how much separation that is. We actually did see one at Target like this, and it looked like it was broken. Um, so, kind of annoying there, that separation. Arms are pretty good. Same thing. You're going to be able to get through. But this is the other thing I'm talking about. Look inside those joints. Ooh, ouch. So we're going to keep these arms bent for sure. They get shredded in there, don't they? Mm -hmm. So, all right. So let's do this. Let's pull off Rocky's head. And same thing with this one. You have this little piece and then that goes on. Again, that's not the head I'm going to use. So... I'm okay with that. Come on. There we go. And let's give him... Boom. Look how easy these are to take out, though. So nice. That's not right, is it? God. Uh, get it? It's not right. Oh. <laughs> okay, so there you are. Oh, see, I think this head sculpt looks so much better. This is how I have all my ninjetis. Um, these effects, though, man, I'm not a fan of these effects. It's, like, so hard to get their fists in. But they just never stay for me at all. At all. Ugh. I'm not a fan. So his effect's not going to stay on. But, yeah, I told you. I, I can't stand these things. Because, like, when you try to put it on the wrist or on his um, fist, the wrist just moves. And it's like, I'm going to break it. There we go. Okay. So there is Rocky Ninjetti. So I do really like it. I think that face sculpt is the best. That's my favorite. And yeah, he looks good. So I'm super excited to almost finish this Ninjetti line. And we'll see where we go with Power Rangers from here. Because again, they're going to start doing the windowless boxes as well. I'm not a fan. But I do like these Ninjettis. And we are getting closer to finishing. So you guys will have to let me know what you think about Rocky. Wait, so you only want these two? The yellow and red in box hanging left. Huh? Because you only have two more spots. Oh, so that would no. be like a kind of perfect. Well, yeah, no, for sure. Behind me is what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to move stuff. These two are going to have to move and red and yellow are going to have to go here. Um, but yeah, we have the other four back there. So like I said, I do have Kimberly. I'm not going to get Kat. So um, once we get the yellow one, we will put them up and that will be awesome. So, so cool. So, so far, uh, two black series, Star Wars. Again, this is all Hasbro right now. And then, uh, the Rocky Ninjetti. So super awesome finds. So, uh, he was a mail call and these two we did find in store. So now it's time for an interruption. What the Funko is up guys. I'm back with more pops or should i say a pop? pop but we've got a pop with a t-shirt today Ooh, what what and again it's et they keep just popping these things out and i can't resist Ooh. you've got an et shirt with et holding the reese's pieces that's not on the shirt though no i know it's oh. not the shirt it's the pop Ooh. if you would listen where'd you find it um, Target. No, I'm just kidding. It's a Walmart exclusive. Uh, found this Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday or Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. Found and I'm pretty sure these are all extra larges. That's all I've seen. And we've been to three different WalMarts and they all had them. Oh yeah, I'll turn the box since you can't. I can't. I'm terrible. The extra terrestrial. 
Ooh. And I will say I have a couple of these t-shirt pop boxes and these are probably one of the most comfortable t-shirts. They're super soft and just comfy and really cool. They so, are pretty comfy. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and open it. Ooh. I have the marshmallow stay puffed t-shirt. I forgot what marshmallow. I think he's burning, isn't he? Is that the, first the one, one with the matches? Oh, the matches. Yeah. Have that one. I got the soup Nazi shirt from Seinfeld. No soup for you. Jeez, just wing it, dude. Yeah. And is that? I think that's the only two I have. But you have a bunch. I got Tanjiro and Hobgoblin and Venom and. And it's only pops. twenty five dollars, which is cool for a t shirt and a pop because the pops now are like thirteen dollars. Yeah, so it's not bad. No, I mean, you're getting a t-shirt for like, like 10 bucks. It's like 12 and 12, yeah. so pretty cool. Ooh, I love the boxes, too. Uh -huh. They're really I, cool. I mean, I would, but I want the t-shirt and the pop open, so. Yeah. We'll leave that to Collector B and keep stuff in boxes. <laughs> so the t-shirt. Too bad it doesn't this glow. Would be cool. That would be really cool if it glued in the dark. Well, it doesn't. I know. Yeah, we tried to find more of them, but they are all XLs. XL, is what we've which seen. I don't care. I like big shirts. And oh my god, means I get to take it. No, you're not taking this. This is too cool. <laughs> it looks better than on the box. It too. does. It looks a lot better. Own home. I like the colors on it. He looks again. He looks perfect as a pop. So the only thing that would have been cooler is if he was holding Reese's pieces. It would, or if like. He was on his bike with... Well, like, why didn't they do the Reese's Pieces as the Target exclusive and then put the glow-up one in here as the Walmart exclusive? I you know, know what I mean? Kind of weird. They're a little special. I know? do like that shirt, yeah, though. I'm going to so, steal it. No, he's not. Take it and... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was my ET, guys. Okay, yeah, great. Again, he says he wants to do voice acting. Not very good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, we've got E.T. holding the Reese's Pieces. It actually just says E.T. with candy. Okay, well, we all know what Reese's the candy pieces. is. Reese's Pieces. Ooh. Ooh. Don't you dare say it. Gertie! <laughs> There's Gertie! Yeah! So again, all the... Which... Okay, so what? You don't have the one with flowers. I do wish... you have the one in the robe? Did you do the one with the robe? Yeah, I don't remember either. I don't think I have the one with the robe. I don't think so which either. I would like to get that one. I thought we grabbed it. I have him in Maybe disguise. I don't think I did. But yeah, I would like to find <laughs> him too. Again. What annoys me about Pops is that they don't like throw the exclusives on the back. So you can't really tell. Like, we didn't know this one was coming out. We didn't know that the glow in the dark yeah, but the it's glow really one was. nice, though, when I go into a store and it's like, oh, cool. Yeah. I have never seen this before. I mean, yeah, what I like to know. But then it's like the Toonie Terror I was looking for. I still have yet to see the werewolf in store. So. Well, good thing you got it already, huh? Yeah. So yeah. I'd rather it be a surprise. Ooh. Again, Reese's he's pieces. ugly, but... <laughs> well, he's naked, again. And, like... What? But Funko can't get the, like, branding from Reese's. Can't does it, is it actually Reese's Pieces? Like, it is Reese's Pieces in the movie, but, like, does it... They actually show Reese's? Yeah. You know? Okay. I'm pretty sure I they do. Remember. Like, it's the colors of Reese's Pieces, like... I do like that he's holding one in his Oh, yeah. No, one. it's great. Hold it really weird, since he only has, what, three fingers? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the only thing too i wish they would have done like some different facial expressions just because like this one has the exact same facial expression as your the last one you did the light up one you know he just has the smile the whole time that's true like if the one the et in disguise was screaming oh my god right? my, my sure, scream that i yeah, just did yeah he screams <laughs> in that outfit that yeah would be... so i mean his face is just like almost the same on every single one that's that would be my only complaint but yeah but i mean I do... again he doesn't have like <laughs> much reaction but again you know it looks like a wrinkly bald cat <laughs> Um, but hairless, <laughs> hairless, yeah, that's what I am. But whatever, you know what I meant. Ooh, He's just... gonna be with Darth Vader. Oh, Reese's pieces. Ooh. You didn't turn his head. Oh, yeah, sorry, guys. Again, 
His head Ooh. does move. It's pretty. No, do it right. Nope. Well, no, his arms look technically the same as me. Which. Turn his head towards the Reese's Pieces. There you go. Now put him by Vader. Oh, yeah. He's sharing. See what you oh, got to turn him. No, I can't see. Boom. There he is. Look at those thugs right there. Reese's Pieces. Darth Vader wants some Reese's Pieces. Awesome. How many times do we say Reese's Pieces? Reese's in this Pieces. Video? I can't help myself with ET, man. Like Elliot, <laughs> Gertie. It's just hilarious, man. Yeah, so. so that's our pop and our t shirt. Which, again, oh, it is black. Never mind. I thought it was blue, but it was just the oh, box. Yeah. Super cool shirt. You could wear it as a blanket. Yeah, I did. <laughs> um. Yeah. Are there any Funko Pops you guys are looking for? Any new ones coming out? Let me know because I try and look, but the Funko site sucks on showing you upcoming new pops. It's all stuff I've seen. And again, I need new pops in stores. She's getting sick of it, guys. Sick of it. Okay. As always, pop out. Ooh. Okay, so now I really want some Reese's Pieces, don't you? I'm actually not a fan of Reese's Pieces. I actually like the butter cups better. Reese's peanut butter. Yeah, peanut <laughs> butter cups. That just sounded really Jeez. weird. But yeah, so it's almost Halloween, so super cool there. So uh, really digging E.T. Pops. I'm sorry if I'm annoying to all you guys, but every time I see E.T. Pop, I have to just make the sounds. like. But whatever, let's get into what we got. So... Oh, I'm really stoked for these last two. Um, so this one pre-ordered on Wally Mart. I don't remember when. A couple months ago. But boom! Retro Spider-Man animated series Marvel's Lizard. And I am stoked for this. So uh, I am a huge Spider-Man animated series fan. Fun. fan uh and so i had to grab this this is really really cool i think he looks fantastic i'm not a huge fan of one of the face sculpts but i think it's awesome they give you options uh as you can see my box is a little bent and why wow. is that oh my gosh walmart again you're a billion dollar company and have to send carded, carded figures, figures in a plastic bag yeah, whatever not, those not bags a are called mailer either no not even a just a bag yeah and I've seen quite a few people get this, and same thing, in a bag. It's like they ran out of boxes. It's kind of super annoying. Mm -hmm. um, At least I, they didn't turn out too bad. They could have been a lot worse. I've seen some where the card is destroyed, especially with these flat carded figures. Like, you, if you want to keep it in box, because, again, the art is fantastic, mm -hmm. and I love that you can see the figure. Um, you want a nice box. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not... Even all my stuff I collect in boxes, it's not like it's, like, amazingly perfect. But... You know, it is kind of a bummer that maybe they were just trying to focus on Russell Wilson instead of, you know, <coughs> sending these out in actual good boxes. <laughs> Stupid Russell Wilson. Um, okay, so we're going to open it. So this is uh, 60 Amazing Years of Spider-Man. So super what, what? cool. This is actually the only retro one so far that has like a sticker on it like this, which is pretty cool. And he looks great and he comes with a lot of cool stuff. Now... A lot of people that open these are like, oh, grab an exacto knife and <laughs> cut it out nicely. If I'm going to open one of these... It's going to do it like a caveman. Pretty much. I mean, honestly, like... That's why he buys two. Yeah, it is. That is true. See, I mean, I mean, once you open it... It's a book. It's done. Like, it is done. So, but that was actually not a bad open, honestly. Like, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Pretty cool, Never opened right? it. So... Here he is, and as you can see, he does come with an extra face sculpt. He does come with some beakers, uh, uh, his tail, thank goodness, and obviously some hands. Now, I had this figure the first time, like way back in the day, um, and he would squirt out water, and I lost his coat, and I lost his tail, and it just, oh, it just got beat did up. Did you play with it in the bathtub? I did. He squirted out water. <laughs> he was so cool. So I do love the lizard, so I'm really, really happy that they decided to do this. And I'm really excited to see what other characters that they're going to come out with. So, um, he does come with this hand to hold stuff, I believe, to hold the beakers, because that's pretty much all he comes with. 
Um, and then he does have a fist hand, and these look pretty good. And again, look how much bigger those are than that Star Wars guy. <laughs> like, yeah. my lord! Jeez. Ooh, Lizard would eat him up. So, really cool there. I'm glad they gave alternate hands. And I'm really happy that they gave you two beakers. It's really cool, because at first I thought they were just going to give one, which I'm like, that's cool. But, like, they give you this one, which is yellow. And these are really cool, actually. These are pretty solid little accessories. I'm pretty happy about Stop it. Stop looking at your um, team. Yeah, sorry. Something <laughs> popped up for fantasy football. Um, and then this one is really cool. I really, really like that one. Even the bottom, like, they're they're really yeah. nicely made. I actually really It'd like them. It'd be cool so. if the liquid moved. I know that'd be Ooh, like, that way that'd be more. cool. Kind of like those uh, those cups. Mm -hmm. You know, like the beer cup we saw the other day. Yeah, yeah that'd be really cool. Just... So. Okay, so now... Hey, get his head out. That's what she said. <laughs> My goodness. I guess the one good thing is, like, the retro lines are going to stay in these boxes, which is really cool. I mean, I know that they have a Spider-Man Carnage VHS coming out, but it looks really cool. So... Okay, cool. That's not terrible. When I looked in the box, there is a white mark on actually both of them I ordered on this face sculpt. This one's not terrible, but this face sculpt is terrible. Is really, really cool. So there's the face sculpt. That one I love. I really like. And you can see there's a tiny white mark by his eye. Both of mine had that. And I don't know if that's actually supposed to be there or not. Um, but it's fine. It's totally fine with me. I love the face sculpt though. I think it looks really good. The tongue looks awesome. Looks yeah, they really, got so really much good. green paint on his teeth. I know. Though. That's okay. It is what it is, but... Yeah, it does I look do really like, like it like would it. move. Right? I know, and the jaw doesn't move, but, you know... Oh, well. It's cool. And... Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Doesn't move. No. That's pretty disappointing, actually. Wow. So, I mean, you can you can bend this tail. So, here's the tail. You can bend it. And you can bend it this way, you can bend it up, but there's no joint. So, I I mean, it's kind of... At least they gave it something. At least I can hook it. That's cool. Um, but the tail does look good. I just kind of wish there was more of a joint in it. I believe, like, kind of like the Build-A-Figure version. But it's actually not terrible. At least I, it, when you bend it like that, at least it stays. That's nice. All right. Yeah, let's... No, there's, I mean, you could do some... That's what I mean. I just kind of wish there was a joint for it to, like, really stay in those positions, but it's Lizards not terrible. Lizards don't have joints in their tails. Oh, wow. You're a genius. Um, okay, so now we've got Kurt Connors. The only thing that would have been really cool with this is if they would have given a head sculpt of Kurt Connors with it, or even, like, half changing, you know? That would have been really, really cool. But, man, he has some huge feet. The coat looks great. See, but that's a bummer. Okay. Boom! There he is! And this face sculpt, I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, he Where's doesn't even have teeth. teeth. I know, exactly. So like that's man. kind of like his, it's almost like he's just now changing, you know, so he's not fully changed yet to a lizard. Um, I just think he looks kind of funny to me, his face. And I get it when he's holding like the beaker and stuff like that. It makes a really good photo. Um, his hands are super big super big i did not realize how big that they were going to be that open um same with his feet the coat looks great though i was really worried that there was just going to be a ton of paint marks all over the coat because you really want that really white lab coat and it looks really awesome there is no name tag on it and i honestly don't think there ever was but it would have been just a cool little detail in there um there's nothing crazy with him but i do think he looks really really good i'm not disappointed in this figure at all even with that weird face sculpt he looks great <clears throat> the only thing i will say so far is you can take this coat off but his arms are gonna stay white that's stupid kind of a bummer right and i'm pretty sure the old one i had did it better you could take the arms off and it was black sleeves underneath mm -hmm. which was really cool so that would have been really cool because he does have that black shirt underneath but as you can see so yeah you kind of are have to keep this coat on so let's put this on and then we'll do some articulation and we will swap out heads 
Okay, so that's cool. So I do really like the tail on him. Again, like I just wish there was a little more joint in there. You can bend it so you can do this. I'm just curious over time how well that's going to stay. It is really thick, um, but it does look cool. And I do like that you could kind of see it just doesn't stay up there. But you can do some really cool things with the tail. You can turn it down here or where I had it. So it does look good and it looks really good on the lizard. Yeah, it looks so much better with him on, like, mm -hmm. obviously. So, um, as far as articulation, mine is crazy tight. I can already tell. But he does have a thigh swivel, which is really cool. Um, he does have good joints. No foot joint, obviously. He's going to be able to do the splits. That's nice. I mean, you can just hear this cracking yeah. like crazy. He's got the bicep swivel, which is great. And he does have some really good wrist joints and some big hands, too, So, which is great. Uh, the head can go oh, all the way around. This face sculpt, I feel like people are just going to use for pictures. It's such a goofy looking face sculpt to me that it's like perfect for pictures. But um, yeah, it's pretty tight. It is really, really tight, especially for a retro. I haven't had one this tight in a long time, but he's going to be able to move pretty well. I think they're doing a pretty good job with these Spidey figures. So um, let's do this real quick. Not that one. Let's pop this in. Ah, there he is with the beaker. So pretty cool there. I do really, really like the beakers. Like I said, the only thing that sucks though, he can't hold them both. Because this is an open hand, this is an open hand, and then you get a fist hand. So you're forced to only hold one accessory. Not a big deal. How's he um, supposed to mix them? Exactly. Thank you. See? like. Come on. There you go. I guess you yeah. could. I mean, it doesn't look natural, but he could do it. So you could get both in his hands. So that's not terrible, I guess. Um, Can you put it like... Oh, that's a good point. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. Good. See, that's why I got you here. You think of stuff I don't. Um, okay. So, but now my biggest thing, I change the head. Oh, uh, I do really wish these mouths open though. That would have been really, really yeah. cool. Oh man. Yeah, I'm sorry. But this face sculpt is where it's at right here. Ooh. Yeah. There, his tail will hold him up. That face sculpt is fire. I really, really... Oh, as I pulled it off. <laughs> I didn't get it on all the way. There we go. I really, really like this face sculpt. I think it's really cool. It looks awesome. That tongue is great. And even though there is green on his teeth, it looks pretty solid. I mean, he is just really cool. It just would have been awesome if you could have opened that jaw a little bit more, you know? Just, uh, yeah, I know. But really cool. I'm really digging this guy. Um, like I said, I think they've just done a really good job with these Spider-Man animated series figures. I just love them. I think they're just really really good i don't know what i was doing here I'm trying to get him in a crawling pose but it's just awesome they do a fantastic job and like honestly i i'm pretty sure you could get him because of how wide his feet are you could if i messed around with this i could get him to stand on one foot i'm pretty sure not today but yeah, uh maybe goodness. some other day so i love it i think this is fantastic you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think because this is, yeah, I don't really have a complaint. My only complaint, like I said, is probably just that that mouth doesn't open all the way. But the accessories are awesome. The extra face is awesome. The extra hands are awesome. He's going to be great. Oh, last thing I did want to show is here he is with Spider-Man. This is the one from the Spinneret 2-pack. Oh, he does, right? That's what I wanted to see. So that's the Spinneret 2-pack Spider-Man. And the Lizard Way is pretty small. small for him. So um, unlike the Build-A-Figure version from Marvel Legends where it's a lot bigger, this one is pretty small. But, I mean, he's a human. He's not supposed to be like the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, 
what's his name andrew garfield spider or uh lizard it's supposed to be a little you know he's a little bit smaller now i do know in the animated series he is a lot bigger the only thing too is his tail in the animated series is huge because he whips mm -hmm. peter pretty hard well with it that says that the on the box he can do that what his tail whip yeah oh i didn't know that so there he is next to spidey again i do wish he was a little bit bigger but that's okay i'm oh I'm digging it. What's cool, too, is now you can have Peter Parker with some, uh, you know, some of the beakers. Because he's a nerd, too. So, they don't want to stay. I'm having issues. Come on. You can stay. Just set him down. There we go. Woo! So, awesome. Loving the lizard. Definitely grab it if you guys see it. Uh, I haven't seen it in stores at all. It was a Walmart pre-order. I'm sure they will probably pop up in stores soon, though. So, really cool. Last but not least, and I've been searching for this thing for a long time. I know a lot of people have. McFarlane. <gasps> Boom. Dark Flash Speed Metal. This thing looks sick. So this is a Walmart exclusive for now. Um, and I haven't seen it anywhere. I can't find it. I know people have found this all over the place. And I'm just not that lucky, I guess. I for sure thought I would find this pretty easily. Uh, because I found Asbat pretty easily. I found Parallax pretty easily. Pfft, nope, nope, nope. I did get lucky, which by the way, that is really cool on the back. Um, I did get lucky and somebody did get this for me for retail. So super excited about that. Um, really awesome because I'm not paying somebody $60, $70 for this. Now, I know exactly what you're going to say. Why is there different heads on the back? I believe he is going to do this like the Robin Crows. Mm, exactly. And there's going to be three of them. Now, nowhere have i seen is that confirmed yet but so which one's in the box in the box right now is the middle one gotcha. with the mouth open um these two mouths are pretty similar though which i i don't know if he does do that obviously i'm gonna buy some more i mean that'd be, <laughs> that'd be you got to right but um like i said these two mouths are pretty similar i'm glad he gave us the open mouth first though because i think that is my favorite so this is a gold label Again, I keep, like, saying that to people. Oh, this gold label. There it went Spider-Man. Spider um, the lizard wins. <laughs> Fatality. Um, gold label don't mean anything. Like, honestly, it really don't. It, people will argue with me and say, oh, it's limited releases or special this, special this. It's literally, so I see parallax still yeah, everywhere. It's, it's literally just so he can sell more toys. That is what it is, honestly. So, I mean, the gold label looks cool on there. Like, at first, when he released gold label, it was like, oh, <gasps> this is gold label. And then now it's just everything. Where's the gold card, Stan yeah. McFarlane? Well, everything is, like, gold label now. The yeah, last, like, 30 true. things he's come out with, gold label, gold, gold label. label. Which, I'm not complaining. I like his stuff, but just because it has gold label on it, I don't mean nothing. So, um, ooh, the card is really cool. Okay, so it is the same. It looked like it. No, see, but you can see more. That is really, really cool. So the card is the same picture, but you can see oh, more of the background. So there's like a ton of them in there. It's really, really cool. I love that card. I think it's fantastic, honestly. Fantastic. Yeah? You like it? At least you didn't just do a picture of the flag, right? Yeah. Okay, so you do get... You don't get any alternate heads, which I wish he would have just given us... The three heads, silly obviously. why would he do that it's silly well because it's gold label um but you do get effects you don't get any extra hands you do get these two lightning effects which are are these for zenitsu yeah right which these look just like kind of the speed metal wave which i just opened a little bit ago nothing crazy i honestly don't even think i'm gonna pose him with effects just because like he's kind of zombie so like i get like speed metal he's still the flash and he's pretty fast but like to me like i wanted more zombie you know i don't need him to be running so you're gonna have his arms out like frankenstein oh um... no not that zombie oh man this thing's pretty pretty freaking sweet i'm <laughs> <laughs> I was like really scared because I haven't seen this in person that it was going to be very disappointing. Um, the costume's nothing crazy, but oh. Come on. 
Look at him. Super cool. He looks sick. I really like that face. The face sculpt is really nice. The hands, I mean, I know he didn't give us any alternate hands, but the little That's uh, fine. are awesome. Um, his gold gauntlets are great. And honestly, these are pretty straight, which is crazy. Um, symbol looks good. His skin looks really cool. He looks like Thanos yeah. to me. That's what, but I'm okay with that. Um, so, which is pretty funny, but like, ooh. He looks awesome. I really, really like it. The costume is very basic, very minimal, but it just looks really, really good. Um, there's the side view. I'm having issues standing him, though. He's, like, almost top-heavy. It's because this left foot is a little messed up. There we go. Um, but he looks good. I mean, the black is black. The yellow is yellow. He's got a little messed up paint on the left side here. Nothing crazy. I'm sorry. He don't want to stand. Oh, my but... He looks really good. And again, there's nothing crazy to this figure. It's very basic. He's a basic B. <laughs> basic B. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it looks awesome. I really, really am digging this guy. I think this is fantastic. Now, I do wish we would have got those extra heads because that would have been awesome. But we're definitely going to have to get more of this guy. How I many mean, more? Well, how many crows do I have? Eight. I actually have six. Oh, have, do you well, really? Okay, I was just over-exaggerating. Well, I have six? I have three out of box, and I bought that oh, pack. Oh, the pack. Yeah, which are not open. So I do have six. I've seen people have, like, four yellow. Oh, so. my God. But he looks cool. I mean, just his those arms are fantastic to me. So, again, articulation, no thigh swivel. He does have that joint, which is fantastic. Again, you heard me in my last video, the Flash needs that joint. He's going to be able to get into some great poses. Um, he does have that... That joint in there, again, the butterfly swivel, which I don't understand when he does it and when he doesn't. It's really weird. Does have the bicep swivel, does have some good, well, kind of good wrist <laughs> joints. Mine's a little bent in there. That's why. There it is. But that's cool. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, he's a zombie. Uh, <clears throat> looks good. These joints, you know, really good. Go up and down. Um, his head you can turn all the way around which is good for this one because he's pretty much like a zombie um and then up and down so very good there and has a little ab crunch nothing crazy but i i love this thing i think this thing is awesome and see i don't even think this needs these accessories now i'm not entirely sure where they go doesn't show in the box but they're like really tight. So I would think they would go down here. You think? I think. I don't know. Let's just stick it in your foot. Well, not all the way in your foot. He's got too beefy of calf muscles for me to put him on his legs. Yeah. Like, I just... I don't like the I'm not a fan. Like, him. if you don't need effects for this guy, mm -hmm. I don't think. Like, you want him zombie-like, and that's how he looks. So, I'm pretty happy with this guy without the effects. Let's see if I can get this stand. Uh, how's he look? Good. Good? Yeah. I, I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. So, I really, really hope that he does do extra faces what would be nice is if he just gave you like accessory pack i guess but i guess this guy is pretty hard to find so you're gonna need more bodies if you want to you know mm -hmm. display them like that so i just hate that he does that but it looks really cool i'm really really digging this guy i'm super happy i got him um so definitely check your walmarts i keep seeing people finding him more and more frequently now Again, I have not had the luck, but oh, let's see his crawling stance. He looks great to me. That's a terrible crawling stance, yeah, but um, he looks awesome. I really, really like it. The arms look great, and he's very uh, simple, but he's just awesome. So, woo! So, good day. Good day. So, we got the Dark Flash. We've got the lizard we've Ooh. got the red ninjetti we've got darth vader and we have the dark trooper so and of course et elliot et so super awesome haul this week i'm super stoked about all this i really like honestly all these are pretty good um 
these two are the real winners for me though i really like these uh you know the rest is pretty good as well so um follow us on instagram link will be in the description below i keep saying we're gonna do a picture and we've just it's hard we do these videos and then we go watch football and then we just you know drink and don't do a photo so <laughs> it just is what it is but um you know again thank you guys for all the support you guys have been fantastic please like comment and subscribe subscribe we let's will. get to 2k yeah we're far off yeah um, well we will be doing a giveaway soon i have some stuff that i'm gonna be giving away just just keep watching i'm, I'm i told you guys it would come with a thousand but i want to do some cool stuff we might do multiple giveaways i haven't decided yet but uh keep watching i'll definitely do some really cool stuff and again thank you guys for coming i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your sunday and i hope you guys have a great week and as always collectors never stop collecting